What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about Iris, the newly confirmed operator in Battlefield 2042 and I'm not only going to be covering all of the gameplay related stuff but I am also going to be explaining why Iris is so important because I know a lot of people might not have played Battlefield 4 so for those people there is actually a lot more to this reveal than meets the eye. I was lucky enough to get to see Exodus the short film a day early thanks to EA and DICE inviting me along to their early reveal event and we learned a few small things about Irish in 2042 and what he's going to be like as a specialist within the game. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to show anything that we saw, but I am allowed to talk about it as I wrote down some notes as I watched along. Now, I'm going to be starting off the video with more of the sort of law side of things, talking about who Irish is and why he's important. But if you're only interested in his gadgets and stuff related to Battlefield 2042, then there will be a timestamp in the description and on the scroll bar for you guys to skip ahead if you already know who Irish is. If you're new around here and you end up enjoying this video, then do consider subscribing to the channel. There is plenty more Battlefield 2042 content on the way and you do not want to miss out on what's to come but with that out of the way guys let's get stuck right into it so for those who didn't know orish is one of the main characters from battlefield 4's campaign otherwise known by his call sign tombstone 3 or his actual name of Kimball graves but most people know him as irish Irish was a staff sergeant in the US Marine Corps during the time frame of Battlefield 4, which was set in 2020. So he's obviously 22 years older now in 2042, and you can tell he's aged by the grey beard that we saw in Exodus. Now, he wasn't the character that we played as in Battlefield 4, we played as Sergeant Daniel Recker, but I'd argue that Irish is actually the main character of the game, and that's why this was such a big reveal. He's definitely a fan favourite of the franchise, and easily one of the more memorable characters in any of the campaigns, other than maybe the Bad Company Boys, so yeah, this was a pretty big reveal for the game. At the end of Battlefield 4 there was essentially multiple endings, some with Irish surviving and then there was one where I believe Irish was actually the one to sacrifice himself and in that one we presumed him to be dead, although I think most people probably chose Hannah to make the sacrifice honestly, but yeah even though he's mostly being assumed alive at the end of the game, those alternate endings did make it somewhat confusing and I guess there was never any like legitimate confirmation that he was 100% alive, so it's great to see him back in the franchise in 2042. Now anyway he has obviously been confirmed as a specialist in the game game too, meaning he will be a playable character in multiplayer, which is technically the fifth confirmation, although we obviously know more than just those five as others have been revealed subtly throughout trailers and stuff like that, but he's the fifth official specialist to be revealed and that was definitely pretty exciting to see. They did reveal his specialty gadget and his trait to us as well at the early reveal event, which I'll go through now and we were lucky enough to just see a few quick seconds of gameplay too, which again I can't show unfortunately, but he definitely looked unique from the other specialists in the game. He comes under the class of an engineer so that is the second confirmed engineer alongside Boris and obviously he is an American soldier fighting for the Nopath which does link up pretty well with his character in Battlefield 4 as he's always shown that he's a man of the people and he wants to do what's right for the general population rather than the army or the government or anything like that. Now his specialty gadget is a fortification system which is essentially like a deployable cover that he throws down and it just creates a wall in front of him that he can't take damage through. Almost like a stationary riot shield for lack of a better word and funnily enough we actually saw this in the gameplay trailer which you guys can see on screen right now that black piece of cover there is actually Irish's gadget or at least I think so anyway. I feel like it looked slightly different in the gameplay that we saw the one you guys can see on screen is pretty much entirely black other than that like small hole in the middle whereas I feel like the one that we saw in the gameplay had kind of like transparent sections at the top of it so that when you crouch down you can actually still see through it so whether these are the same things and maybe they just changed it since the gameplay trailer I'm not too sure or maybe it's actually just a different gadget I can't really confirm that as of right now but that one from the gameplay trailer gives a pretty good indication of what Irish's gadget looks like. Now they did also mention though that he has essentially a trophy system type of gadget as well that stops incoming explosives so whether that's a secondary gadget or whether you can pick between the two either bringing along the cover or the trophy system and I'm not too sure in the gameplay we saw he only had one at a time on the little HUD down the bottom and so I'm actually not 100% sure how that works just yet as they didn't really clarify but they did confirm that he has two abilities coming from Mr. Battlefield himself last Gustafsson. The last little bit of information that we got was that if you pre-order Battlefield 2042 or if you have already pre-ordered then you'll get an exclusive skin for Irish on top of the other pre-order exclusives and that skin looked absolutely amazing. So anyway guys that is pretty much it for the details on Irish at least so far anyway if we do get any more info in the coming days I'll try and keep you guys updated but those are essentially all the details you need to know about Irish. If you enjoyed the video then be sure to leave a like down below and if you are new then consider subscribing to the channel with those notifications notifications on. If you guys want to support the content that I make here on YouTube then consider becoming a channel member but with that being said thank you all very much for watching you guys have a great day and I'll see you all out there on the battlefield.